Hey y'all, I'm Daesha. My nickname is Asia. I make lifestyle, fashion, and advice videos on my channel and sometimes college related content. If you enjoy that type of stuff, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is going to be a review on an Amazon wig from the company BV Baby. I filmed this video a while ago, hence the braids in my head now. Here are some pictures and videos of me with the wig. So stay tuned to see the process. By the way, this is my second time ever applying the wig, so you're definitely seeing this from a beginner. Um, or no, this is not my second time applying the wig, this is my second ever wig. I applied the first wig multiple times. I'm gonna say like maybe three times. And I can definitely say out of the two wigs I've had, this was the best wig I've had. The lace, it was the lace for me. Nice. Okay, I don't know if this is a good angle or not, but I'm hoping it is. Um, I just braided my hair back into some braids. I want to show you guys the box it came in. It has the company name, VV Baby. The wig came in this bag. So it just tells you the type of hair or the hair texture, deep wave, and it was 24 inches. Saying I'm really excited about this wig. I've only had one other wig ever and it was straight hair so well, this was inside the wig and then they also put wig caps in there so that's all that came inside of the box here is the wig i'll just tell you guys about it now excuse my pajamas this is my fave pajama shirt okay this is the hair it's giving jerry curl I tried to bleach the knots and the knots did not take like they did not bleach a few of them did but the wigs knots are just huge so I really don't know what to do I tried to bleach it like one and a half times some of the knots in the front bleached like oh uh, you can't really tell but the knots throughout the wig like it's, it just did not bleach, so I'm just going to have to finesse this with some makeup. I also didn't pluck anything yet. I'm probably going to just try to pluck it on my head, or probably right now with some tweezers. The hairline does not look bad at all. Like, I'm really glad the hairline at least somewhat bleached, because the knots in the front are smaller. It's so odd. This is a 4x4, four four, and it also has a band inside. I don't know how the band works. I've never had a band on my wig, so I'm probably just gonna cut it. It also looks small. Well, I have a big head, so we're just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna put the wig cap on. I don't know where I put the wig caps. I got all the things that I needed for the wig. I could not find the wig caps, so I'm just gonna use the stuff that came with the wig. I'm just gonna pluck the middle part out. Okay, so I'm gonna need y'all to ignore how messy my desk is right now because life, it actually, it's pretty decent, but I'm gonna just pluck it out a little bit more because why not? I finished plucking, well, Kind of finished the first round of plucking, got the middle part going. I pluck the edges a little bit, but I can't really tell how much I need to pluck because I don't have a wig stand. I did pluck a good amount. Um, Well, not a good amount, but I plucked a good amount. It already looked pretty decent, so I didn't want to over pluck. So I'm just going to wait until when I put it on my head. This is me with the ball cap on. So I applied this kiss matte powder foundation it's in the color toffee and then i use this elf buffing foundation brush so as you can see i didn't do the whole melting it and cutting it that's for like a more long-term look but honestly i don't even know if i'm gonna like this so that's why i didn't do all of that i'm just gonna try it on oh this thing is tiny Hold on. Okay, wait. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This will be a total fail if this thing does not fit my head. Like, I will actually cry 
for the rest of my life. Like, my head can't be that huge. Like, it's probably big. Okay, I get that. But for the wig to not fit is kind of crazy. And then the problem with me applying wigs is I can't see. So, okay, what I think will make this go better is if I hot comb this top piece. So this is a before. And the lace is pretty. I mean, it's, that's a good lace. It's not transparent, but it's like not tinted either it's like complicated i don't know when you imagine it okay this looks bad but like when you imagine it like slick down the hot comb i'm using is an annie it's good enough for wigs but yeah it's good enough for wigs i'm pretty sure i got this from the beauty supply store okay it's getting hot that's good i have the little stick the stick i'm using to like do this and then hot comb it is the she is bomb hair wax stick it's actually really good. I recommend. I think I'm going to apply some of this heat protector because I feel like when I use it, the hair gets really straight. Okay, I think that's good. For now at least. And I think the rest can be fixed with like water. Like, see, it's kind of laying down. So also I'm gonna like lift for the front part. All right. I think I'm just gonna put it into a pony like that and then apply it. What I'm gonna do is just put it on the back of that. Ooh, I probably did that wrong, but we'll see. Like, you can't. Oh, wait. I just realized this is not a full wig. Because <laughs> usually, not even usually, my other wig is like a full lace thing. This is only right here. I really forgot. So now, wow, that's so crazy. Just putting stuff on my edges for no reason, like terrible diversion okay this makes things a lot easier because i only have to put glue right here i'm really hoping this works out because this could actually be cute if i did this right it's funny that you see my widow's peak right now and it's definitely lathered in this stuff as you can see i am no pro <gasps> i forgot to do a step Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna take it off. It's not that hard to put back on. I forgot to put the makeup inside of it. And so I'm just gonna take the same little brush and the same thing and put it in the inside. Where, ooh, 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 ooh. It's so funny because you can see like it going through the thing. Okay, I feel like that's enough. There's not that much lace in this thing. Also, if you know what you're doing, feel free to comment any tips. I understand I'm not supposed to be putting this on my widow's peak. I look insane. Okay. I might mess up and that's okay. Like, I don't know if it's too soon, too late, too early. Like, I don't know. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady, girl, you amaze me. Okay, so I made a lot of progress. Ooh, it's kind of looking real far in my head. I messed up because. Ooh, wait, I might have to redo this. Like, my forehead looks humongous, like, massive. And. I think I know why because my widow's peak is poking out like my head is big but it's like come on now this is giving mega mind okay yeah it's too far back I have to lift it up um like put it more on my forehead okay okay we'll do that and be back okay here I am again it's not laid down waiting for the glue to dry again and uh, I put a lot, like I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a lot on there, so I thought that was a mistake, good thing, bad thing, like it's pretty tacky. 
so I think I can do it now. This looks better. This looks much better. Or when I take this off, I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? I think I'm gonna use this. And there's just a lot of body wrap me foaming mousse to do my edges with an edge brush. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure it's it's one o'clock now. Now I'm gonna take it off. See what we're working with. Please, Lord. I think last time I left it on for like eight minutes. So ooh, ooh. Look at that. Ew. It's a bunch of makeup on it okay it's not looking bad i mean you can see the glue but we're gonna clean that off like other than that it's not terrible if i wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular? Tell me you, well, baby, I've been so we're gonna come back to the edges because it's stressing me out. But it's finally on my head. And now we just have to lay it down. Um I don't know, it looks good to me. Okay, so it's on my head. Edges are done for now. I might actually go back and try again because I don't like how they look. So I know you can wet it, but I don't know what kind of products have been in it. So do I want to waste my Camille Rose Curl Maker? I'm going to just use a little bit of it. Like I literally don't know what type of products to put in this. And Camille Rose smells good. I should not be wasting this on my wig though. Um I don't know what the back is looking like. I always neglect the back of my head because I can't see it. I think I'm good. How's it looking? Is she looking late? Let's hope so. So that's what I wanted to get. On the camera, I think the camera is doing it way too much justice. The camera is making this thing look real good. Like, too good. Um, I might add some gel to it or something, but I still need to like shower and get ready, do my makeup, or whatever. So I'll be back. Um, I also have class. Is my class right now? I think I have class right now. I do have class. So I'm going to join my class. Come back later. Okay. <laughs> I kept it in for like a week and a half, which was way longer than I expected it to. But also, I wasn't going anywhere. So it was like in the bonnet all the time sorry i did this and now it's yeah okay yeah i hope y'all enjoy it like everything is different now because i'm literally across the country doing my internship and i filmed this a minute ago and i forgot to film an intro and an outro so i really hope y'all enjoy it like i said yeah i don't really know. Nice.